Hi. Uh, good morning. Sorry, I was just staring at the camera to see if it was actually running. And I just got up. Um, I want to report something. This is going to be really quick. I'm going to try to keep this under two minutes, which is uh, would be uh, of an Olympic quality video for me. Um, I was doing some work. I've been, uh, after producing a lot of work on the cult psychology of the flat earth, my previous video I reported a short but very uh, educational conversation with Phuket Word, who lives in uh, Thailand. I think his name is Nigel. And I came across a video. I've obviously I've done a lot of work to do with uh, Tiger Dan. And I'm going to read a little quote, a uh, comment that I've added about Tiger Dan, and then I'm going to relate something to you that I think is quite startling. Uh, Tiger Dan 925's burden of proof was not to disprove any possibility of the shape of the earth. That is a straw man. He conclusively demonstrated that rather the most orthodox flat earth proofs or conjectures do not have as much explanatory power or necessary validity as claimed or widely supposed. In short, he showed that there were not necessarily, uh, they were not necessarily true and that there were other equally if not more plausible explanations. Um, how this can be lost upon any sensible human being, whatever one thinks of his delivery, is a matter of great interest to me. And that's from the video series. It's also from uh, Flat Earth uh, Cult Psychology and also from my uh, treatment of common flat earth fallacies. Uh, but this particular video involves um, an interesting development that happened when I came across a video by Adam Joseph Doughty. And I'm not here to heap calumny or demonize anyone. I think people have all kinds of reasons for how they manage their YouTube page. I just thought it was worth reporting. Um, and Adam Joseph Doughty, or Doughty, uh, made a video, um, sort of an impassioned uh, testimony, I think believes to be he's Christian, and I think Tiger Dan is Christian, and this was directed at Tiger Dan. It's called, I'm Done With Tiger Dan 925 Rant. Flat Earth. And it has 3,700 views, mostly thumbs up. He has uh, over 1,000 subscribers, so it looks like he's doing well. We wish him well with that. Um, I came across a series of comments um, that were, they had been voted up about 27 times, and the, the chief comment was made uh, by Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes, known as Patricia Steer. And she runs a show, Flat Earth on Potatoes, where she interviews a lot of flat earthers. And she's very, very impassioned, very dedicated flat earther. And, um, you know, weaves around her, rightly or wrongly, I, I think in many cases in an exceptional manner, um, a kind of a neuro-linguistics, a kind of vernacular of, you know what, I, I'm not here into proving it, but a lot of sensible people believe in it, and I do, and let's go on and discuss uh, let's not bicker about whether something is true or a proof is true. Um, you know, and we'll just direct people to you know whatever information. But we don't really want to get into any, you know, debate about anything. So generally speaking, these are these interviews are more like what you would consider like a Bible meeting. I grew up in a town with Bible meetings, so everyone is is you know converted, and there really isn't any contention. And to the degree that there is, um, Patricia Steer often parenthetically sort of adds or pacifies uh, any perspective conflict by basically just um, changing the definitions of words or, you know, finessing the definition of words and so forth. And often on behalf of Mark Sargent, like he didn't really say this and really all he's saying is this and I don't necessarily believe this and so forth and so forth. Um, they clearly have a very dedicated relationship, her and Mr. Sargent. And uh, this, my only argument is that it doesn't seem to distinguish itself as terribly critical in that sort of robust sense that would be necessary to obtain the kind of credibility for a school of thought um, that one would need if one wishes, as they, they openly do, for it to become widely popular, except um, under the power of the same level of sort of dilatory compliance that uh, the world is already suffering the detrimental effects of. That's my argument, and I make it in a lot of places. So Flat Earth and Hot Potatoes um, gave a comment on this video that I looked at last night, which was published on January 14th, which is almost a month ago, and she had made a comment uh, quite um, near to its publishing, um, 
that had received 27 comments, and I noticed it had 33 replies to it, and so I added a few of my replies, which I will read, to some of the comments there, which I thought were material. A lot of it was repetitive, and all of it was generally fairly disparaging of Tiger, Tiger Dan. Now, Flat Earth and other potatoes did not openly disparage Tiger Dan. She simply said, this is a wonderful, uh, you know, I'm paraphrasing, this is a, a really nice expression, it's very heartfelt, and indeed, I, I believe it is. And uh, he's, he's very, very critical of Tiger Dan and makes the admission, uh, the omission, I should say, where he doesn't actually deal with the refutations that Tiger Dan supplies. And I'm guessing he takes issue with how Tiger Dan expressed himself, which is fair enough, but it is not a treatment of the refutations. Let's be clear about that. So I added a few comments, which I'll read. But I logged on to just sort of see... Um, I don't get any responses from Patricia Steer. She doesn't seem... She seems to have decided not to interact with me since I left the Flat Earth Movement proper. Um, that's fine. She doesn't have to give any reasons for that. She's allowed to do that. Um, but what's happened is that all of these 27 replies, about three or four of which were mine, um, have been deleted. I assume by the author of the movie, Adam Joseph Dougherty. And in their place, I have, uh, I've logged on here about 12 hours after, say, last night, as a comment... Uh, by Flat Earth and Hot Potatoes that says, What a beautiful and moving statement, Adam. Continue to walk in love. I don't see her original comment. And that comment was made one hour ago. And then 59 minutes ago, Adam writes, I try for sure. And that's the, all the other comments have been deleted. What it looks like, and I don't know, is that Adam may have been overwhelmed by the number or the kinds of comments, or he wished to for any reason he doesn't have to supply to continue to publish the comments that were listed. Um, it just so happens that this happened after I added my comments. It looks like two weeks after this thread had even been active. So the thread actually remained there for several weeks. I added some comments and I happened to see that the thread, the entire thread of the comment has been deleted and in its place Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes has added a, a new comment uh, that says an hour ago, and then 59 minutes ago, Adam Joseph Saudi replied, saying, I try for sure, uh, which was thumbed up. Um, so that looks like a coordinated effort to replace the exchange that existed um, maybe 12 hours ago, and that had existed on this particular video for several weeks, with a short exchange. And again, um, I don't know if it's coordinated, it doesn't really matter, it's just... The, the, the censoring is interesting, especially when you read uh, my comments. Now, it may well be, and it's fair enough, that members of the Flat Earth Movement have a religious philosophy which precludes them from engaging people who happen to disagree or ask valid questions that any five-year-old could ask of them. They're, they're quite allowed to do that. I'm not fond of this um, custom of heaping calumny or someone is paid or a disinformation agent. I think human beings do enough weird things all by themselves. They don't have to be paid to do it, unfortunately, as unflattering as that may be for some people. Um, so I just, I'm pointing out something that just seems odd. I'm not trying to uh, incite any pernicious conclusions. I just think it's interesting. Um, and it's the first time I've seen this particular development, and it comes a day after having a very odd conversation with Phuket Word, um, where he attempted to engage me in a conversation after I had said in the video that nobody in the Flat Earth ever seems to want to talk to me, and then all he did was supply reasons that he didn't have time or energy to talk to me. So if someone came up to you and said, oh yeah, I'll talk to you, and then just spent their whole time telling you why they don't have time to talk to you, you might find that kind of odd. Some people might. That's all I can argue from that. So I, I've added a comment here and just said, would you care to discuss the coordinated comments with timestamps? Because they are very coordinated, given the level of censure uh, that has taken place. And um, weeks went by without the deletion of this thread, and I simply added a few comments. So you might be interested at this point, I've run way over my three minutes, to hear some of the comments that I wrote. So I will uh, begin to read some of them to you. So these are comments from I'm Done With Tiger Dan 925 by... Mr. Uh, uh, Adam Joseph Doughty. And it seems like a really thoughtful guy. Um, you know, he's Christian and he believes what he believes and I, I really think it's great. Um, I think anyone who, who thinks they don't have religious beliefs um, is under no little misapprehension of the nature of their own mind. We all have religious beliefs. 
So someone named F-U-K-Y-U, or fuck you, said, Hey, mister, you and Jaron shouldn't hold your breath for Tiger Dan to apologize. He does seem too arrogant and full of himself for that kind of behavior. Um, and Flat Earth Hot Potatoes, though she doesn't make any disparaging comments herself, replies to fuck you by saying, I know Tiger Dan won't. That's fine. We have moved on and forward with a happy face. So in this way, Patricia Steer is basically conceding to the statement that she would expect uh, Tiger Dan 925 to actually issue an apology uh, for the refutations that he made of key flat earth planks. Um, people make a lot of shoot from the hip statements. I don't know how many times I've been called stupid or moronic on the internet. I'm just interested in people's arguments and uh, unfortunately most people don't make any, including Patricia Steer. In fact, she's quite proud and promotes the fact that she has no arguments and no critical basis for any of her claims regarding the flat earth. She's simply converted to this belief system and directs people to, unfortunately, I think for her credibility to people like Mark Sargent, who, um, whose clues are, have absolutely no critical basis whatsoever. He seems to have got them from a science fiction phantasmagoria called Beyond the Dome, as I, I made a movie. He seems to sort of be a sort of pseudo-history uh, where he makes a lot of fallacious claims, which is very common with Patricia Steer and so forth, you know. The claim that they're not in a cult because other people are in cults, that's a fallacious statement. Or the idea that they exploded nuclear weapons in the atmosphere, so they were trying to, you know, destroy the dome. These are very misleading statements. And they're made by someone who obviously, and, and I think openly has admitted, is not interested in logic. Um, and so... That's fine. I've always said to people, uh, Mark Sargent is quite honest about where he's coming from. And most con men or confidence tricksters usually are fairly sincere about where they're coming from. Um, so in response to Patricia's statement, I merely said, she says, I know Tiger Den won't apologize, that's fine. I said, with all due respect, I don't think that... She says, we have moved on and forward. And I say, with all due respect, I don't think that forward motion is necessarily your home run swing. Um, and indeed, I back that up with that, this idea that, curious, that no, not one person in this thread, there was about 20, oh, I don't know how many it was, a dozen to two dozen comments. Um, obviously, Tiger Dan's publication of, I think, the first five of his refutations of the Flat Earth um, ignited just a huge, huge uproar. And it's very interesting. As I said, I'm interested in human psychology. And it's curious that not one person in this thread, or indeed in the Flat Earth movement, has either cited or encouraged anyone to cite any of Tiger Dan 925's critical refutations of the supposed explanatory pattern of power of most Flat Earth Orthodox beliefs. Instead, what is evident is a very emotional reaction to his various refutations, emotional reactions that fund a conversation about everything but his critical refutations, refutations that would be some of the most prized contributions to tempering the credibility of any school of thought that prides itself upon any kind of forward motion, but through a progressively more orthodox delusional psychosis, something as often very difficult to distinguish from a religious faith. So that was deleted. Oops, excuse me. Uh, and uh, so I go on to write, sounds more like you have had the experience of encountering something fairly rare in any religious cult, for right or wrong. I'm speaking to the author of the video, but any, any of the commenters as well. Something more challenging than mere consensus. Would you like to talk about Tiger Dan's refutations with me, or am I, quote, too arrogant? If so, I hesitate to inform you that you were not, logically speaking, in the best possible position to make any very definite claims about the arrogance or character of anyone. For your information, nobody ever moves on, to quote Mystere, from critical discussion. Quite the opposite, usually. Um, James Mercier, which was deleted, says, Here is the way I see it. Children are brutally honest, and I remember saying from childhood, It takes one to know one. Tiger Dan came out accusing everyone of being liars, retards, stupid, and wherever else. Um, I, I've watched these videos. I think he calls himself a retard at some point. I think he does call certain things stupid, and at one point I think he suggests the Morgal probably shouldn't be asking for money for something that is not within, you know, uh, a credible pursuit of, of the truth. And that's fair for people to get upset and to talk about that, but I don't think using any emotion to excuse um, the examination of his critical refutations is legitimate and simply not even mentally healthy, and it's certainly not mature. 
Tiger Dame came out accusing everyone of being liars, retards, stupid, and whatever else. Uh, again, uh, Carlos Sharp has vaunted this idea that he's calling people retards. And I imagine what he's really done is challenge people's low self-esteem. Maybe they feel retarded on some level. Most people feel stupid on some level. And certainly people who aren't interested in critical discourse, like Patricia Steer, are often very um, uh, insecure about their intelligence. And, and it's just a muscle that gets exercised. You have to be willing to be wrong. And if you're embarrassed about the idea of being wrong, you'll, you'll obviously obfuscate and, and form equivocations that, that sort of pacify any kinds of critical demands upon your brain and that of others. And, of course, that plays to the weakest and uh, uh, the weaknesses of the human mind and the compliance that we've all been conditioned to uh, under one pretense or flag or another. All I can say, says James Mercier, is, is it takes one to know one. One thing I definitely know for sure, he definitely didn't exhibit the love of Christ. Okay, well, that is definitely a sin in, in, in Christianity. And as Jesus said, you will know them by their fruits. Well, indeed, the flat earth hasn't produced any fruits, but it has produced, I think, subjective fruits for people. And, and it's a crazy world, and if the, tag, if the flat earth makes people happy, I don't want to take that away from anyone, but within the, Adults in the world know that if they put beliefs in public, that other people can ask questions. You know, a child could ask questions. And when you ignore those questions, like mine, you know, that, that's showing that you've, you've probably been abused in some way. And I asked James Mercier, would you care to discuss Tiger Dan's critical refutations with me? Or is it too on vogue to constrain all such talk to criticism of the more superficial aspects of his delivery? After all, you do have a school of thought to grow, right? Or is it fully grown in God consciousness? If so, great. Love to hear about your solutions to all problems on earth and how you qualify yourself for such infinite knowledge. And uh, that's about it. And I say, Tiger Dan's burden of proof was not to disprove any possibility of the shape of the earth. That is a straw man. He conclusively demonstrated that rather the most orthodox flat earth proofs or conjectures do not have as much explanatory power or necessary validity as claimed or widely supposed. In short, he showed that they were not necessarily true and that there were other equally, if not more plausible explanations. The idea that um, there are no uh, actual credible pictures, photos, or video of the earth um, is an indication that we don't, we may not have an accurate depiction of the Earth. It's not proof of a flat Earth. So, Math Powerland uses this kind of rhetoric, and uh, and he's quite has his right to do so. And um, you know, and it's really not up to him. It's up to you to think for yourself. And that's the fun thing about thinking, is that you you have a responsibility. So I don't blame him. I don't have to call anyone shells. I just have to say, what can we actually show critically? And that's called life. We just have to do that. Um, and the flat Earth is just a wonderful way to inspire that. And who knows what the shape is? And like I said, any of these criticisms, the Tiger Dan's or mine or anyone, should be prized by a school of thought that actually wants to move forward or grow or, you know, um, substantiate its claims instead of just repeating platitudes like we all know the Earth is flat. Um, and that only goes so far, right? Um, if you want to, uh, if you want to grow as a person, and 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 uh, religious cults, as my Qigong master once said, are places where people go where they're afraid of growing. And there's lots of reasons to be afraid of growing, not the least of which having encountered such an irrational world that has been so uh, inimical to our brain development in the first place. And I, I uh, write about that um, quite a bit in uh, a post I'll link for you called, uh, and I, I add my discussion with Phuket Word. Sorry. Um, just going into my blog here. Uh, yes, Action 584, How Cults and Psychopaths Are Born. So some people might be interested in that. Um, priest classes don't care what people believe. People finding the truth does not make them nervous. It makes their day. I have a great interest in religious cult psychology. I have had, I have taken a great interest in religious cult psychology for many years of my life. I am very interested in seeing one form around a kernel of truth that is ignited into an unassailable belief saves people from an otherwise intractable problem by the symbolic conflagration of invariably incendiary developmental inflammation from so irrational and disoriented a cybernetic industrial society. A cult that is shored up by often very acute circumspection of surrounding cults of the day, and as though the fact that anyone is in a cult means they cannot be, as Patricia Steer is wont to opine, 
all of whom believe the same sorts of things or undergo the same kind of rapid combustion of logic into enlightenment under the arguably narcotic effects of a radical reorientation of the brain function and perceptual apparatus in a group setting where bonds are formed along lines of protecting this delicate lotus of unfolding freedom from the however imposing vicissitudes of critical discourse and emotional pain as often incites this lifelong catastrophic change in, though enlightenment of, brain function again and again. So I've got things to do, people to see in my busy, amazing, adventurous, really very boring and quotidian life. And I commend you to yours. I'll keep you updated um, to see if my other uh, comments are deleted. And I just want to keep tabs on it. I haven't formed any conclusions. Again, human beings can have any number of reasons for wanting to, to censure comments in their YouTube channel. That's their space. It's not mine. And uh, this sensitive man, uh, you know, might just... Um, not want to read my comments or want anyone else to read my comments and I don't think censoring is wrong or censorship is wrong I just like to just show that it has occurred um, I think people's needs people's personal preferences are God to me um, but I, I reserve the right to comment upon them and I'm not accusing anyone of anything because most people speak pretty well for themselves if you just report and observe what they're doing and saying so these two comments here on uh, uh, Adam Joseph Doughty's film, I'm Done with Tiger Dan Rant, uh, seemed to have been produced in, with some little coordination. Um, indeed, Adam would have had to delete the comment, and Flat Earth and Hot Potatoes would have to have added a new comment. Um, so, that's great. Friends helping friends. Um, I would be interested to know, I can't suppose really what the motivation was and if Patricia Steer or Adam would care to discuss that with me or anyone else they are adults they're free to do so and I find it very helpful um, you know if there's some confusion about how people uh, are comporting themselves to maybe just discuss their needs or feelings um, I'd be very happy to hear if they feel threatened or menaced or anything by me um, and uh, how that how that plays out so I'll keep you informed it's a uh, the Flat Earth is a source of, I mean this with all respect, endless entertainment and, and personal growth. Uh, I've created a platform, I'm, I'm quite proud to say, where I can just simply, actually I had a conversation with an evolutionist um, just today and published that on my blog, um, where just encountering how human, how human beings think, what they think and what they believe um, yields an enormous amount of fruit, if you will, uh, upon just holding ourselves accountable for what we actually know and what we don't know. Um, a certain humility involved in that, um, and uh, a certain utility, I think, in asking critical questions and reserving, um, what's the word, reserving wholehearted belief, um, given the kinds of minds that were likely exported by so many generations, if I say a lot of a lot of discordant forces in our families, um, but retain, as we do, I think, a capacity as human beings to, to learn and know better. So, keep at it, people. I'll get back to you soon.